the reason why you would have a report like this is because you need to be able to know what exactly is happening, what are the causes of the things that you've just spoken about, mm. but more than anything else is about what are your solutions to it. So we welcome the report because it gives us an eye view of where entrepreneurship is in South Africa. Mm. And in any case, we've also been talking about the fact that entrepreneurship in South Africa is lacking behind in comparison to the majority of, of countries, particularly in the African continent. One of the, one of the things that stand out mentioned is monopolies. How do you see this play out in, 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 South, in the South African picture? Is there a scenario where some of the monopolies that we see are making it difficult for small businesses, not only to start up, but to survive? Yes, absolutely. That is one of the reasons why we are engaging with big business. That's why from the point of view of the president who has now called all big, big business mm. together to have the conversation because monopoly is a problem. Monopoly just closes the doors in mm. most instances. Monopoly even shuts out uh, small businesses, even in the township. You can see that the malls are creeping into, in fact, many of them are in the townships already. Yeah. And when we look at who is in the mall, you realize that it's the usual big companies and the smaller companies cannot afford mm. to pay rent there. They cannot just afford to be in that space. So we need to have that engagement. That is why government, for instance, has got a program on um, township development and rural mm. development because we're looking at what is it that we can maintain and sustain for small and medium enterprises. But that's one element of it from a point of view of smaller uh, businesses. You've got medium, uh, 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 small and medium enterprises. Mm. Who supply for I just want to be very practical. Yeah. Who supplies what, uh, for instance, to, uh, uh, to Toyota? When Toyota is assembling a car, who supplies that? Yeah. In the main, you get that big business uh, are the ones that are producing mm. all the parts when some of the parts can be produced by uh, uh, medium enterprises. And that, when you give that opportunity to the enterprises, you help them to be innovative, mm. you help them to even uh, 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 employ more people. So we're looking at how, ca how can we work together in making sure that we do what other countries, developed countries are doing. Mm. Small and medium enterprises are the backbone of developed yeah. uh, countries. Why can't we do the same in South Africa? The, the, the concern I think that you must also be concerned about is that when the, this report talks to who are the most affected, young black people, we're in the middle of youth month and we, we know that government have a whole variety of youth programs, summits and so forth that's being put forward. But young black people are most affected and women. Surely that must be a concern to you. It always will be a concern, especially when we look at the fact that the majority of people who are unemployed mm. are in the category of youth and the fact that we've got the youth bulge mm. and the fact that we also have young people who are coming out of uh, uh, school or, or universities or college and are unable to get jobs. We're saying to young people today, they don't necessarily have to be looking for uh, jobs. They can also begin to look at what is it that they can do. And we are here as a department. Mm. Of small business development, we've got programs that are specifically uh, tailored towards uh, young people. But it's not only just about our department. Yeah. We've got the entire government beginning to look at programs that are tailored to supporting small and medium enterprises, mm. but supporting youth in particular. Young people today think that the best thing to do is to go to university. Yeah. They don't necessarily all have to go to university because universities can't absorb everyone. Mm. They are technical colleges, and so they. Department of Small Business Development is working with what we call TVET colleges and would like to encourage them to go to the TVET colleges because whether you're talking about skills today, mm -hmm. the skills that are necessary today, because that's another problem. Yeah. We have others going in and studying something that's not necessarily needed yeah. in the economy of today. So we, we're working with the TVET colleges to make sure that young people get the skills and they can go out and start yeah. their own businesses. You talk about that entrepreneurial spirit or the culture of entrepreneurship in South Africa is something that government is very much working on and trying to develop. But what comes out of this report and sort of deals directly to it is that young black people in particular are battling to access finance to start and to sustain small business. Yes, absolutely. The report itself 
talks about uh, those uh, uh, businesses that are surviving, what we call the value of death. Three yeah. years, they normally die. The report talks about the fact that those that are established mm. are rising in survival. And those that are new are the ones that are struggling. That's why when you have a report like this, it enables you to then look at what are the interventions? How can you develop interventions that can easily address that? Our department, again, together with other government departments, yeah. we have a, a, a small enterprise development agency, which is the, the non-financial support. Mm -hmm. And then we've also got small enterprise finance agency, which is CIFA, which is the one that is looking at how can we support. I know that many would say, yeah, but CIFA um, gives us only about five million. There's lots of people in the small business would be happy to have that five million to build yeah. their businesses. But we're working with other financing, development finance institutions, um, your NEF, your, your, your IDC, your PIC. We're all working together to make sure that we have a coordinated approach to supporting small and medium enterprises. Finances will always be a difficulty for everybody. People can't go to the banks because the banks don't even want to look at them. Mm. But as government, and, and we are trying our best to make sure that we create that conducive environment. Our offices are also in all nine provinces. We also even have mobile offices that are going out to reach out to our people, particularly young people. Ma'am, I thank you for joining us. It's a very difficult job that you have in in. in we are at the effect of, of tough global economic uh, conditions and it's, it's very difficult to sustain the kind of projects that we do, but we're doing, we, we're doing it with great gusto. Thank you I'm for joining us. I'm excited because I think that young people, particularly small and medium enterprises themselves, are beginning to realize that mm -hmm. it's about them. What we do as government is to create the conducive environment for them, but we can't run their businesses for them. They have to run their businesses for themselves. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you for joining us. My of pleasure. course, we will continue this discussion a little bit later with the Deputy Minister Buti Manamela in the presidency. Of course, we'll be talking about, uh, uh, we'll be talking about Youth Month and what other programs that government will be launching and sustaining from now on into the future with regards to South Africa's young people. But, of course, in the news for the last 24 hours, the Auditor General's report on local government obviously standing by.